So Martin, you've just made the move down from Newmarket to Manton. How's the move gone? Well, the move went uh, very smoothly, surprisingly. Uh, I thought it was going to be chaos, frankly. But everything, you know, went better than expected. We had a lot of support with, uh, you know, our staff because uh, virtually everybody that we had in Newmarket sort of came with us. So from that point of view, they knew the horses and uh, that made it very easy. Um, Mary Francis did a grand job in supplying all the uh, horse boxes and everything. Um, and they all turned up on time. Uh, you know, the horses loaded really well. Uh, Freddie brought down uh, our two superstars, Eminent and uh, Julian. Um, and Yes, I mean, we're really, really pleased they settled in quickly, um, which again is the, is the most worrying sort of thing, you know, new surroundings for the horses, but uh, they just seem to adapt to it straight away. Eminent, who ran a, such a fantastic race in defeat in the Irish Champion Stakes, which is when we last saw him, and you minded him for the rest of the season. How happy are you that you, you did that and, and how's he wintered? I think it was the right thing to do. I think he had uh, a busy season, you know, he started off early on with a sort of craven. Uh, and then, of course, the Derby, which can't ever be underestimated. That takes an awful lot out of the horses, I think. And then, um, you know, he, he, he ran every race. I mean, I wasn't disappointed with any race that he, he, he ran last year, really. But I think that he's coming back this time much, much stronger. So I do firmly believe that, um, you know, touching all available wood, that, um, you know, this will be his, uh, his day in the sun, I hope, or year in the sun. And how's he taken the move from Newmarket? Oh, he's fine. You know, he's uh, but he's a highly intelligent horse. I mean, he gets it very, very quickly. Uh, he's got his own sort of uh, box sorted out now, and he knows his views and that sort of thing. He leads the string out every day. He talked to the new sort of regime that we've got here very, very quickly. So I'd say he's settled in extremely well. And do you have a principal target for the season, or will it be a, a matter of? Well, I think uh, the principal target early on would be the Prince of Wales Dask. That's what we're really aiming for. Um, I'll need to give him prep race for that. Whether we go to the Ganay, I, I think that that's going to be sort of quite difficult. Um, the ground will be not ideal for him. I think that uh, although he, you know, did go on sort of softish ground last year, I think he's going to be better on a on a fast surface. Um, and I'm really uh, tending towards maybe the, the Huxley at Chester for the uh, festival meeting there in May. I think that uh, that's a track that would, that would suit him and I think that would be a very good sort of prep race. So that's sort of top of the, top of the list at the moment prior to uh, then going to Ascot. And so do you think a mile and a quarter will be his optimum distance? I think so, yes. I wouldn't dream of putting him back to a mile anymore. I think a mile and a quarter is, uh, is where it's at, so where, where he had his sort of best runs I think last year. Um, so yeah, I mean that's... That's and jockey-wise last year, you used a variety of jockeys, including Frankie Dettori and Ryan Moore. Who, yes. will, who will likely partner him this season? Um, choice? Well, the plan at the moment is um, for uh, uh, Oshin uh, Murphy to ride him. Uh, that's sort of been agreed that he um, should be able to uh, partner him throughout the season, which of course is pretty important as far as I'm concerned that we've got consistency. Last year, it was always sort of quite difficult if you are um, you know, not able to provide the jockeys with sort of top um, races, top with top horses in every sort of race. Uh, you have to really have who's available at the time because so many people are uh, under a retainer or have some sort of arrangement.